happy people i'm back with another video and today i wanted to bring you all um another tutorial on how to apply some press on nails um i do have a series going on on my channel with how to apply press on nails using different mediums and i'm actually going to revisit um applying press on nails with acrylic i am getting ready to go out of town i am finally done filming a lot of reviews that I've had to get done. Now I just want to wear a set for a while and so I wanted to test out a different acrylic powder to see how it holds up. So what I'm going to be using today is the Mia Secret Clear Acrylic Powder. I've actually had this for quite some time and I actually bought it with the sole purpose of applying my press on nails because originally I was using my Kiss um, acrylic that came in like one of those little cheapy kits from Walmart. I've since started using that as like a clear dip powder so I had bought this with the intention of doing my press on nails with it so I finally want to give it a try. I'm also going to be using the Young Nails Monomer. I have these little press on nails that I actually got from my local Dollar Tree. So this is from LA Colors, it's the Nudes Collection and I love it because it's in a kind of medium to short coffin shape nails so I thought this would be really really cute to go out of town with um, I'm going to like a baby naming ceremony and so I thought these would be really cute I'll go ahead and prep my hands off camera I do have a full tutorial on how I prep my nails for any type of application so I'll go ahead and leave that link down in the description box as well so y'all can check that out all right you guys so as I was going through trying to size out my nails off camera I'm realizing that actually this particular set of press on nails is not gonna work for me because they don't have um, the sizes I need for both hands. So I'm gonna go through my press-on nail collection and try to find another set of press-ons to do. Okay, so I am back. Finally found some more press-ons that I can use in place of the other ones and these are what I have here. So these press-on nails I actually attempted to apply with Builder Gel like almost a year ago and they didn't work because the C curve was too deep on them and so I thought they'd be perfect to use to apply with acrylic and so that's what this hand is looking like loving how it turned out so far I'm gonna go ahead and apply these with my Mia secret clear acrylic so I noticed that I was actually having a really hard time with the Mia secret powder because it's my first time working with it I'm going to go in with some swipe you can actually go in with just some regular alcohol, but I am going to go ahead and do swipe. This time around, I'm not gonna use a primer, um, just because I feel like in general, my, my nails are able to um, keep product on pretty well without a primer. So yeah, I'm just gonna go in with the swipe. I'm going in with my kiss brush. I use it specifically for applying press on it with acrylic. I have my Young Nails Monomer already ready to go along with my Mia Secret Powder. This process is normally quick and easy, but like I said, there's been a learning curve for me since um, this is my first time working with the Mia Secret acrylic, but I'm learning that I have to work with drier beads. You wanna take some of the monomer, put it on your brush, pick up a bead. I'm picking up a generous bead and I'm actually gonna drain my bead here off to the side to get it nice and dry. And then I'm gonna set the product down. And this is the type of consistency that's been good for me to work with for the Mia Secret. When I did my other hand, I worked with it a lot wetter and it was it made for a very difficult application process. So I'm happy that I figured it out for you all off camera. And then I'm just gonna spread it all over the nail here. After I do that, I'll take my press on nail, just slightly tuck the nail underneath the cuticle area and then press down. I'm gonna make sure everything is lined up and just keep pressing. Press, 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 press. And you'll just keep pressing until it starts to cure, essentially. Yeah, that's beautiful, look at that. Yeah, I love, I love this method for applying press-ons. It just, they last so much longer, work so much better. And again, like I did in the last video, you just wanna go in and smooth out the underside of the nail. Doing this will add extra strength to the nail and allow them to last even longer. Smooth out the sides. And then you are gonna go, go around the side too and just kind of peel off that extra acrylic there, just like that. I'm gonna go through underneath and just smooth out some too. Just because I feel like there's a lot of product there. So that's one nail. I'm gonna go ahead and speed through me doing the rest of the nails and I will be back. 
Okay, happy people, I wanted to pop in really quick and just share some super exciting news with you all. Our happy family has finally reached 2,000 subscribers, you guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just had to pop in and take a moment to say thank you to each and every last one of you all. Without you all, this journey would not be possible. I love how engaged my happy family is. I love that you all watch my videos, like my videos, comment on my videos. I do make it an effort to respond to every single comment that's left on my videos. And so again, I just want to say thank you all so much. I do plan to do my next giveaway on the channel at 3,000 subscribers. So you guys definitely stay tuned to the channel. Continue to like, share, comment. And yeah, once we hit 3K, I will be doing another giveaway and I have a lot of goodies that I am collecting for that giveaway. So I'm super excited about that. And then also you guys, our happy family over on Instagram just reached 500 followers. I've been on Instagram for two and a half years and so it feels good to finally reach this milestone. So thank you all again for just coming up, showing out and just continuing to show me love and support. I really appreciate it. I am gonna be doing a giveaway over on Instagram. So definitely make sure you guys are following me over there. So yeah, let's hop back into this tutorial. So as you all can see, I'm having a little bit of a hard time working with this acrylic. So that last bead that I picked up and placed down, it was a little bit too dry. To fix this issue, you'll just wanna put a little bit of monomer on your brush and tap on the acrylic. That will help loosen up the acrylic so that you can start to work with it. The consistency of it is just a little bit looser than what I'm used to. I'm used to working with the Young Nail Speed Clear. So y'all just be careful when you drain your beads. And be sure to stay till the end. I did do a wear test of these nails and I show how they held up after a week of wear. So I just finished applying all of the nails here. The next thing I'm gonna do is just go in and just shape up the nails really quickly just to make sure I give I have that nice um, square shape. All the nails have been file shaped and buffed. I was gonna go in with like a little bit of charms. I had these two butterflies here and then I had like some other butterflies, but then I'm thinking, honestly right now, I just want a simple basic French mani. So I'm gonna go in with a base coat here. I'm gonna use the Bella Vina base coat. And after that, I'm gonna follow it up with the IGL Beauty No Wipe Top Coat. So I've actually been testing this top coat out to see how good it is and so far so good. All right, you guys, ain't she cute though? Yes, I am loving the simple mini, okay? Um, as much as I enjoy playing around in my nail art, sometimes when you bring it back to the basics and you just do a straight simple mani, it works too. Yeah, I'm really loving how this, this set turned out. Yeah, I just, all I did was go in with that top coat and it is glossy though. I am liking that, that top coat so far. I will see how it holds up for you all. So yeah, I'm gonna go in with some cuticle oil. All right, y'all. She is killing the game, okay? I'm loving the simple mani, yes. These nails I actually got from my Dollar Tree, so they only a dollar, y'all. This is like a dollar look. But doesn't it look beautiful? You can't tell that it was just a dollar, I'ma tell you that. Definitely stay tuned till the end. I am gonna do Manny updates so you all can see how this manicure wore. But yeah, I'm loving the look. Let me know what you all think. Okay, so I am back with a quick update. It is only four days later since I've applied this set. Honestly, so far they're holding up pretty well. Um, there is no lifting on any of the nails except for one. All of these are good. Um, this is the, the finger that has the lifting on it. And the lifting is pretty bad. I was doing dishes and I guess my like my nail got caught on something, I forget what, but I mean, essentially, if I wanted to, I could just like pop this off. Um, so that's lifting really bad as you can see, but no lifting here and no lifting here. I'm kind of feeling like I wanna just take them all off and do a different set, but I'm gonna uh, stay the course and um, just try to wear it because I do go out of town tomorrow and I honestly don't even have time to do my do my hands again. I really need to um, do my toes because you know the polish is looking like French tips at this point. So I need to do my toes, but 
yeah I mean the Mia Secret a clear acrylic is holding up pretty well to be honest especially given the fact that I didn't apply any uh, primer so yeah we'll see what I end up doing but this is just like a four day update and I am really liking um, the top coat that I use too I use the IGL Beauty top coat and y'all can see these bad boys are still looking really glossy so yeah I'm liking it so far and I will hopefully come back and give you all another update okay happy people I am back with another update it has been exactly 12 days since I did these nails um, I did end up keeping them on when I went out of town I'm actually shocked the nails are still on Two of them did pop off so from my last update I think I did a four day update um this nail that was really really loose it did end up popping off and so I put it back down with some super glue and that super glue is actually holding on really good and then once I left out of town for my trip um this the middle finger nail popped off on this hand and I super glued that back down on the trip now I super glued these back down um, five days ago and they're still on so that super glue that I used is really good I'll be doing another review um, on my channel using that super glue to apply press on like a full set of press on nails just to see how that lasts this is what new growth is looking like so there is some new growth happening here but just not happy with how the nails are looking after you know almost two weeks so yeah, so like I said, a couple of nails popped off, you know, and I'm ready to take this set off. So far with the Mia Secret acrylic, I mean, it's okay, right? The only thing is um, I didn't put a primer down like that protein on before I did this set. I did use it last time I tested it with acrylic with the young nails and so maybe if I had have laid some protein bond down before I applied this set, it would have lasted a little bit better, but honestly, I didn't want to have a hard time taking this set off, but there is major lifting on all the nails. You can see on this thumbnail, all that white space here, just major lifting all together. Actually, there's no lifting on this finger, but you can see there's lifting here, okay? There's lifting here, okay? There's lifting here, just there's lift. And this nail has been like this actually for, since I left town, you can see there's like a lot of clear space. And this is where the um, acrylic is still making contact with my nail, but the rest of it is lifted off the nail bed. I know it's not good to wear nails like this, but like I said, I was out of town. I really didn't have an opportunity to kind of take these nails off the way I wanted to. And this is the nail I applied the super glue to. There is some lifting, lifting here, lifting here, lifting here. And this nail actually popped off on the plane <laughs> um, when I was coming home from my trip. So. Yeah, that didn't even make it home. And I actually, I saw the press on nail sitting in the seat. I just waved goodbye to it. Just like I'm ready to wave goodbye to this whole set, okay? Overall, I think the Mia Secret Acrylic works okay, right? Like, it's 12 days later, so that's almost two weeks. Um, but the lifting is really severe. And um, I think there would have been a big difference had I applied some protein bond. The other thing I wasn't the biggest fan of was just there was a lot of cloudiness. I don't know if it's just me, but it just it feels like the nail bed looks cloudy as opposed to clear. So I don't know if that has something to do with um, the Mia Secret acrylic or just the fact that all the nails are kind of lifting. And so since they're not making contact, they look a little cloudy. So yeah, overall, I would recommend the Mia Secret um, for applying press-ons with acrylic. I will say though too, it sets a lot slower than what I'm used to. The Young Nail Speed Clear set really fast and I actually think that I prefer that faster setting, especially when I'm doing press on nails. Like I, I feel like I had to wait like almost two minutes for the press on the set with this Mia Secret Acrylic. Yeah, I mean I would recommend it, especially if you're looking for something maybe short term use with some press ons, long term use with press ons, I probably would do the Young Nails um, Speed Clear. I am still really impressed with the top coat that I used from iGel Beauty. Um, I mean this is glossy right 12 days later looking glossy looking nice so I think I like that top coat as well if y'all enjoyed this update let me know what method you all want to see next as far as press-ons are concerned I think next I want to try press-ons using poly gel which I think will be super easy to do or either the super glue um, so yeah I hope you all enjoyed this video I do upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday Thursdays in particular are my nail therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails and yeah if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family I'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video I hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye